First, we need to enable the USB debugging. To do that, simply tap on settings. Then tap on all settings over here. Then scroll down until you see about phone. Tap on about phone. Then you will see this build number. Tap this seven times like this until it says you are now a developer tap on back and then tap on developer options then check mark this USB debugging tap on ok back and then scroll up until you see security tap on security and then check the unknown sources option like this tap on ok so you have now enabled the USB debugging as well as you have checked the unknown sources option. So today we will be installing the drivers of the Geoni E3. So do note that before we do anything to a phone like routing or flashing a firmware we need to have the drivers installed correctly. Now uh, I'll show you how to install the drivers correctly. Uh, and it's the one time process you so you don't need to do it again and again so now first of all before we install the drivers we have to uninstall the previously installed drivers so we can do a fresh clean install of the new drivers so just follow this procedure and you will install the drivers in no time uh, first of all uh, I would suggest you to in uninstall the previously installed drivers so to do that simply uh, right click on my computer and click on manage then over here uh, just click on device manager then just connect your device your Geoni E3 via a USB cable so I'll be just doing that I'll be connecting it via the USB cable like this and it will take some time to refresh and after that if you uh, see an Android phone listed over here just expand this and uh, just right click on Android ADB interface and click uninstall and check mark this delete the driver software for this device and hit on OK now just disconnect your phone and then reconnect it again Note. Uh, do note that we now see this exclamation mark with Geoni E3. So if you see this at the first place, you don't need to do anything. But uh, if you have that Android ADB interface, you just need to uninstall that. And after you see this, now you have successfully uninstalled the drivers that were previously installed for this phone. Now we'll be doing a complete fresh, fresh install of the new drivers. So to do that, simply uh, just disconnect your phone again. So currently I have disconnected my phone. So now uh, just close this device manager. Now what you have to do is to download a software called PDA net. So I have downloaded that software dot uh, called PDA dot net and here's PDA dot net PDA net. I'll leave the link in the description down below so you can download it easily. Now I'll open it. okay uh, so I have to uninstall it first of all because I have currently installed it so I'll uninstall it but you will have to do a complete install so currently I have uninstalled pda.net so currently I'm installing it again next next so it's installed so if it says like this an existing Android USB driver is found on your computer you can reinstall it uh, if it has any problem just click on yes over here then select others ok then uh, when it says uh, like this you just need to connect to your phone just hold on. let me just connect my phone over here like, uh, like this I have just connected my phone and as you can see it's installing the USB drivers it's setting up the network driver it will do its process so just wait for some time and then just click on finish now to check that your drivers are installed correctly just disconnect your phone 
and then open the device manager. Just open the device manager like this again and then just connect your phone again. Now uh, you will see this Android phone with this Android ADB interface. Now you have installed the drivers correctly. So congratulations, uh, this is how to install the drivers correctly and it's really simple. So uh, just do it before routing because uh, you may end up breaking your phone without having the drivers installed. So install the drivers, it's really important and thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.